It's week five of the NFL, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Jaguars, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 22. GA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. I tell you, for a defender, that's got to be a scary sight, seeing a big man like this with a head of steam behind him as he makes that catch and then turns up field. Yeah, normally when you talk about tight ends, you immediately begin talking about them rumbling down. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. So maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives, exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not. No, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown. Joey K. Dobbins, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. This offense ready to head back out there as they'll take over with a little over a minute to play in this first quarter. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Eluding the pressure right. He's going deep for Brown. He's got it at the 15. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And I tell you from our broadcast booth, because we're pretty close to the 50, we had the best view, a bird's eye view of that throw. And it was an absolute thing of beauty to watch. Never ceases to amaze me, the arm strength of these guys. And the, the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one play drive last time, See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. Mark Andrews, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. 
I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about... After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. Now a play fake here on first down. Going deep here for Watkins. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will finally be taken down up at the 48. It's a big play there for Baltimore. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Looking to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's going deep for Brown. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. I'm really not sure what was more impressive about that throw. Was it the distance travel or the accuracy involved? Because... I'm going to tell you straight up, when you're trying to hit a guy in stride. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Come on, guys, let's go. Sammy Watkins with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And from where we said, if you had told me that that ball was somehow going to get from point A to point B, I would have told you no way. I mean, that was an absolute cannon shot, and he still dropped it. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield, and it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Rolling to his right. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And in for the Ravens, touchdown. Mark Andrews on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Ravens are able to add on to their first-half lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. Go, go, go. Bump, bump the mic. Mic, bump, bump. There we go. Here we go. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. Nah, touchdown. Rashad Bateman, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Ravens. 
Evans add on. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flush to his right. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Dancing to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Right now, right now. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The last time out, another touchdown, and I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided, but you know who benefits? It got his man complete. I'm only going to be out of the carry. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman with touchdown number 20 of the year. And the Ravens come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Ravens continue to pour here. it on. When you start at your own 20, oftentimes defenses play you for the run. They stack the line of scrimmage. They decided, let's not run into that mess. Let's get outside, get to the perimeter, go high, wide, and handsome, and throw that bad boy down. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Sammy Watkins. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On play action, they'll throw. He's going deep for Brown. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, 68 yards. And the Ravens add on. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it. And he's... The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. 
He'll air this one out deep for Sims. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 35. It's a big play there for Baltimore. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout and actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. So three plays already first and goal and they are wasting little time. They'll look to throw again, out to his left. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Good work, boys. Let's go, let's go. Rashad Bateman, his 21st touchdown of the Come season. On, and the Ravens are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And it's looking all the more likely that a fifth straight win is going to be in the cards. They'll try to run some time here with a first and ten. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. And in for the Ravens touchdown. With Sean Bateman. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Ravens add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Even though he was forced from the pocket, still able to adjust, make the long throw. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And got his man complete. Keep going, keep running, touchdown. Right? With Sean Bateman with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Ravens continue to pour it on. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was... The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. Watch tight. Tight is right. Watch tight. Tight is right. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that is incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charlie, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll set up a throw, escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And in for the Ravens touchdown. With shot. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football 
at their own 20-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. He's got a man complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football. And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And we often talk about hang time for punts, but in this case, we should probably calculate the hang time on that throw because that one hung up there for a long time and managed to keep going and going until it found its target. Yeah, that throw, my good. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Ravens, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, things aren't looking good. It'll be an 0-5 start, and they'll be at home